Hi, my name is Rich, and today we'll be talking about the first mission in D&D's Icewind Dale, Rime of the Frostmaiden module, The Cold-Hearted Killer. This contains spoilers for Rime's first chapter, so if you're a player, then you have been warned. This can take place in any town, but I would recommend the first town is Bryn Shanda. There should be a video analysing Bryn Shanda out later this week, the link should be in the corner. So let's get some info about the first mission. This mission is so flexible, you could reflavor it for any campaign, giving the bodyguard ties to the big bad of your choosing. The players should know about the towns, the curse of eternal winter, and the sacrifices before starting this mission. The mission should be given to the players wherever they start and involves them moving around towns. The players are introduced to Hilm Trollbane, a retired dwarven bounty hunter that has heard about the murders happening and is too old to do the job. The group needs to track down a serial killer that moves from town to town and is connected to the sacrifices. If Hillen's theory is true, and Sefek Caltro is killing ten towners who cheat their way out of becoming sacrifices to Uriel, it's likely the Frostbane will use him to kill again. The twist is that he is a bodyguard for a travelling merchant called Torga, and is part of a group too big for the players to handle. As a side note, the killer Stefek Kaltro is a vessel for the Frost Maiden, a dead mariner with the spirit of a frost druid piloting its body. No player map is needed, but having a generic tavern map and a nice wilderness map will be helpful. You should be aware that if the mission is given to the group first, it doesn't need to be completed first. If you make this a slow burn mission and let the players get to level 3 before the resolution, then it can help balance the encounter. The encounter should be deadly but not unfair. Possibly hint about his teleportation skill and his fire weakness so squishy players can stay out of his 30 foot misty step range. It's a hard encounter at level 2 for a group of 4 players and a medium difficulty encounter for level 3 players. Let's talk about the methods. The players could track down Sefek until he is isolated and confront him one on one. The players could do a head on attack, taking the sleds for themselves. This is suicidal at level 1 or 2. They could bargain with the merchant for the bodyguard. If he is out of listening range, that may be feasible. Sefek can misty step, regains health in cold temperatures, can throw ice daggers, and is weak to fire. His healing can drag out the fight, so make sure the party has a method of healing as well. He has a low armor class, and high hit points and regeneration. His misty step is his key ability, and closing the gap to squishy players really puts some momentum on the DM's side. If it's going badly for the players, and a TPK is looming, then you should get them captured by the bodyguard and set up a sacrifice escape scene, instead of killing them off. Some DMs are claiming that this encounter is way too hard for starting out. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If encountered at level 1, you could play it as a bodyguard trying to escape, then have another encounter with him at a higher level. A group of smart players that know a bit about action economy will be able to get through this encounter with no problem. Now, if you try to roleplay him, he is a smart, cold, calculating killer. He has survived this long killing four people already, so he knows a trick or two about evasion. So, let's talk about potential outcomes. If he is killed, the players don't need proof, and they will still get the 100 gold reward from Hill and Trollbane. If he is delivered to the authorities, then they won't get the reward, but the killings will stop. Sometimes lawful good is not the most profitable way to do these things. When doing this mission, the players should get to grips with travelling around the towns, and this will be setting the standard for the rest of the campaign, so try to be accurate. Giving them a fast travel method this early in the campaign will unbalance parts later. Another outcome is that Torga has put a bad word in with some local towns, and players may be refused lodgings in the future. So, don't forget to check out the companion video detailing the first town you can start in, and the missions linked to that. Subscribe for more Icewind Dale DM videos, and if you have any other notes to add, then leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.